Mickey the Octopus Words by Erin Grundelsberger Art by David Lennard This story is based on a real-life aquatic escape happened in the National Aquarium of New Zealand. I live in a world of see-through walls in a tank with a lockdown lid. I am fed like a king three meals a day of lobster, shrimp and squid. I know I have a good life and should want for nothing more. But something tucks at my curious heart and that I simply can't ignore. Out of the stand, I must be free. I must explore the open sea. I have always liked eight-arm charades and seaweed hide-and-seek. I have had fun playing gravel hockey and tentacle tag each week. But I long to see a brand new world of plants and rocks and fish. Discovering things I have never known has become my only wish. Out of the stand, I must break free. I hear the ocean calling me. What's this? Tonight, it seems, my tank lid is ajar. It could be my one chance for change. Dare I hope that far? I tell my tank mate Blotchy, we should bid our tank adieu. I tell him we would be happier exploring someplace new. Blotchy says he would rather stay within his comfy home. He doesn't feel the pull to see the far and great unknown. And so this quest I must take on is one I'll take alone. I'll be a solo traveller when I set off to Rome. Out of this tank I must break free. My heart flies to the open sea. Here I go to the top of the tank. I slide one arm outside. The air in the room feels dry and cool. The space feels free and wide. I lift through arms 2, 3 and 4, next 5, 6, 7, 8. My head is last and then I am sliding down the tank's glass plate. The floor feels strange beneath me. Odd noises fill the room. The air smells different from my tank. It's freedom in full bloom. I sneak across the rough wood floor as fast as I can go. My eight arms latch and then release. My sense of excitement grows. But can I leave my life, my friends and all I have ever known? My heart say, yes, today is the day to strike out on my own. The sea lies just ahead of me, so in and down I die. I am falling fast toward what's to come. I have never felt so alive. I plunge, I swim, I breathe, I will. I float, I spin and glide. I'll follow my heart wherever it leads. I'll travel far and wide. Out of my tank, at last I am free. Long may I journey the splendid sea. Inky's Escape is the true story that happened in the National Aquarium of New Zealand in 2016. After Inky was found injured in a crayfish pot, he was taken to the aquarium for recovery where he lived for two years with a tank mate called Blotchy.
One night, the lid of Inky's tank was left slightly open by mistake. Based on the arm prints found on the floor the next morning, the workers in the aquarium believe that Inky squeezed himself through a smaller opening, a drain hole, only six inches wide, and miraculously made it out to the sea. We all hope that he is happily swimming across the open ocean. Please subscribe.